Happy Mental Health Awareness Month. And to kick off this month, we are going to be talking about Mikey from the channel Glam and Glore and how she just announced that she's going to be taking a break because there is a lot, a lot that we can all learn from this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And sometimes what I like to do is take different topics from the YouTube community and try to see if there's any lessons that we can learn to kind of better ourselves or our mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, Mikey from the channel Glam and Glore, which my beautiful girlfriend Tristan absolutely loves. So I watched her video yesterday uh, with my girlfriend. And yeah, she's taking a break to focus on getting ready for a bikini competition. And I'm gonna explain that story a little bit more, right? But just full disclaimer before we get started, if you're new to my channel, I'm not a licensed therapist or psychologist or anything like that. I am somebody who has personal experience with my own mental health issues. And I try to share that experience to offer some suggestions that might help some other people out. But if you are in need of therapy or anything like that, talk to your doctor, see if they can recommend anybody. Talk to your insurance company, ask friends, family members if they can recommend anybody. I personally use the online therapy app, BetterHelp. Down in the description lo below, there is an affiliate link if you would like to give them a try, all right? But anyways, so yeah, Mikey from the channel Glam and Glore. Like, I didn't know much about Mikey, but I know that, you know, my girlfriend and I have been dating for like over two years now, and she's always loved Mikey and her work, and just loves that, you know, she, she has a strong work ethic, she's never caught up in like, you know, the beauty guru, like drama or anything like that. Um, my girlfriend also loves, uh, you know, horror movies and stuff, so that's one of the reasons she loves Mikey, but anyways. Yesterday, my girlfriend asked me if I want to watch this video with her, and I'm like, eh, all right, sure. And I'm watching, and I'm like, dang, yeah, this Mikey gal, she's she's got it together, right? She's got a good head on her shoulders. But anyways, it sounds like um, Mikey has been trying to get ready for a bikini competition. She's been doing a lot when it comes to her physical health, um, when it comes to, like, eating right, exercising, and all these things to get ready for this. But she recently had a head injury that kind of set her back. And through thinking about these things and the setback that she had and everything that's going on, and she also talks about the ups and downs of weight loss, which is something I can definitely, definitely relate to. Uh, but she made the decision to take about a three month break, all right? So what I wanna do is talk about some of the topics that Mikey touched on and see what we could all learn from them. So something that Mikey talks about in this video is that running the channel Glam and Glore takes a lot of work, a lot of work. Like I didn't realize how much work she was doing. Like all of you who have been subscribed to me for a while, you know I'm, I'm making daily videos, I make multiple videos a day and everything like that. But like through watching um, the Glam and Glore channel and doing a little bit more research, like Mikey does a lot, a lot of extra things that I'm not even doing, you know, with my channel, right? And and obviously her videos take more time and planning out, you know, what she's going to be doing with different looks and everything like that. But what she realizes is that she does not have enough time to do this. So she talks about the amount of time it takes uh, she spends at the gym, the amount of time that she has to drive in the god awful traffic that is Los Angeles. Oh, I love Southern California, but going to Los Angeles is just my worst nightmare. But the good news is, is that you get to listen to some good audio books or podcasts, or even just jam out to some music. But she talks about those, but then she also talks about the importance of sleep when you're trying to, you know, um, work on your weight and your fitness and everything like that. And she just did not have enough time. And that's something that I really hope that all of us can take a look at and look at our own lives. So time management is one of the biggest struggles people have. I would say, through my experience working at an addiction treatment center, working with other people and everything like that, like a topic that always comes up, and it's something that I've struggled with in the past too, so I kind of mentor people on these things, is I struggle with time management and money management. Those two things come up all the time, right? So what I want people to take from Mikey's video is that like she has a goal. She has something that she wants to achieve. And I think there's two things that a lot of us can do. One of them is realize how much time we're wasting, okay? I, I get a lot of messages and comments and everything. People saying, Chris, how do you get so much work done? How do you get so much work done? And like, I do get a lot of work done, but I, 
through making a lot of content and developing you know my style my craft and everything i've become more efficient at it right i play a lot of video games i read a lot of books i spend a lot of time with my girlfriend i spend time with my son you know all these other things and i managed to squeeze it all in because i took a look at how much time i was actually wasting all right now what i would ask you to do is try to quantify how much time you're wasting browsing through Twitter, browsing through Instagram, browsing through Facebook, binge watching Netflix, whatever it is, and try to ask yourself like, should I, where's my time more uh, uh, spent more valuably, right? Now, the second thing is that I would suggest, it's really helped me out, which has really, really helped me, is set up a calendar, all right? Amy Landino is uh, uh, this amazing woman who is an entrepreneur, and somebody recommended a video to her, uh, to me a while back that she did on calendar blocking. If you struggle with time management, like I, uh, I'm in the process of getting my life coach certification, and I've recommended this video to a few people struggling with time management. So I'm gonna link that video down below, but take a look at it. You don't have to go like fully gung-ho like Amy Landino does, but take a look at what you have planned week to week and you know put those things that are set in stone on this calendar and see what else you can squeeze in. And it kind of is a form of accountability so you don't waste as much time. But if you have a goal like Mikey does, like take a look at that, all right? But something that Mikey realized is that she does not have the time to do all these things. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the appreciation that she shows that she has the ability to take time off. Yes, 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 girl. Okay, so Mikey talks about how she's in a very fortunate position. She is very grateful and she is a, has been able to save up some money to take three months off from YouTube, all right? She's still gonna be posting on Instagram. I actually went over and followed her because I'm interested because she, she said that she wants to like document like what she learns about her weight loss journey even though she's not like a fitness expert. But like I can relate to a lot of the struggles that she's had because all of our bodies are different and everything like that. But anyways, she is very appreciative of this and like, so also those of you who didn't don't know, uh, I worked at an addiction treatment center for a little over three years and one of the things that came up all the time is people are just dying to get out of there, right? People struggling with uh, drug addiction, alcoholism, mental health issues, everything like that. They just wanna get out so, so, so quick. They wanna leave. And something that I would always tell um, the clients when I was doing groups was like, listen, you need to appreciate this time. You need to be grateful for this time. Like, you know, uh, I'd ask them, how many of you have kids at home? How many of you have pets at home? How many of you have families that demand your time? How many of you have jobs that demand your time? I was like, this might be the only time in your life where you get to truly focus on yourself. I was like, be grateful for it. Take advantage of that. Because many people cannot take this time to purely focus on themselves. So Mikey stepping away from Glamangor for a few months, she's very grateful that she is able to take that time. I also have personal experience with this in two different ways. When I first got sober seven years ago, <clears throat> I was very fortunate. And like, gratitude is so important, you guys. I can't express how important gratitude is. When I got sober, I was very fortunate to be able to take a year off to purely focus on my sobriety. And I'm so grateful for that because I know how many people don't get that opportunity? They they go into a treatment center or whatever it is and they're back at work. They're back at work and they're on that grind, they're all the stresses and everything like that. I had a year to focus on me and I'm so grateful. Sometimes I went nuts because I'm a workaholic, but I'm so grateful I had that time because I know so many other people don't have it. But the second thing I'm grateful for is, like I mentioned, I work at a drug and alcohol uh, treatment center up until last, August or September, but anyways, the company downsized, they were shutting down different treatment centers, and my position was eliminated, and I got uh, laid off, but I was given a severance, and I was able to sit down and look at this and say, okay, Chris, you could either find a new job, and I'm somebody who's always wanted to be my own boss, work for myself, just do my own thing, and uh, you know, just have a place to be creative and put out my ideas, and I was like, okay, I can either go work for somebody else or I could really just go, go deep into this, you know, YouTuber thing, entrepreneur thing and try this and see what happens. Because because of that severance, I was able to take some time off. 
And that's what I did. And it was right around the time the Shane Dawson series happened and I was able to just focus on YouTube and grow this channel and do this thing. And ever since then, I've been my own boss and like I'm grateful for that. So my suggestion for all of you is if you are in the in the position to take time off or have time off like Mikey from Glam and Gore, Gore does, like take it, appreciate it. Whether it's um, vacation days, like we are in this world where we are told to work more, work more, work more, work more, don't take days off. Like people don't take days off like it's this badge of honor, right? Like I'm not saying take advantage of those things, but like value those things because many people don't have that opportunity to take time off for their, for their mental health or to accomplish other goals or side projects they have. So the last thing I wanna talk about kind of intertwines with this, but Mikey from Glam and Glore, again, is afforded an opportunity that many people don't have. And, and that's why I'm glad that she talks about how grateful she is for that, because it seems like she's extremely empathetic towards other people who can't do something like this. But mental health breaks, like, a lot of us need them and a lot of us can't take them, all right? Like there are things in um, in the work environment like FMLA where you can take a break, like the Family Medical um, Leave Act and everything, but there isn't much for like mental health breaks and a lot of us have to make money. You know what I mean? We have to make money. We have kids that we have to feed. We have rent that we have to pay. We have car payments. We have gas. You know, we have, uh, you know, our electric bill. We have insurance. All these things. So a lot of us don't have the opportunity to take these extended periods of time off. But I'm here to tell you this. I'm here to tell you this. Like, it is possible. It is possible. Like, I don't want anybody out there to look at this situation and just be like, must be nice. Must be nice to take three months off and do what you wanna do, right? Because I hear a lot of people talk about that. Um, like in my um, life coaching practice sessions, I've spoken to you know fathers and mothers and everything like that. And it goes back to time management. When I sit down with a lot of people and we sit down and look at, you know, what time do the kids wake up? How, do, how long does it take them to, uh, you know, get ready for school? Or if you're staying at home, what time, uh, what time do the kids go to bed? Okay, what time does your husband or wife get off? Okay, where is this block of time? Like, you just have to be smart with your time. This is one of the reasons why, um, you know, uh, I love, you know, BetterHelp Online Therapy is that I could just use it wherever I am. I've used it while I was traveling and everything like that, but you can also go to a local therapist. But I think it is very, very, very important to like set up a calendar and look at where you can squeeze in mental health time because, because and whether that's a hobby, whether that's therapy, whether it's 12 set meetings or whatever it is, but because if you do not take care of your mental health, and again, it's Mental Health Awareness Month, if you do not take care of your mental health, you cannot be of help to other people in your lives, all right? You will be a better mother or father if you take time for your mental health. You will be a better employee if you take time for your mental health. You will be a better friend if you take time for your mental health. All these things. So figure out a way, I don't care if it's five or 10 minutes of meditation a day, whatever it is, make sure you're finding time to focus on your mental health because unfortunately we're living in a world where like mental health breaks are not like a thing that comes along and everybody could take them whenever they want, all right? But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this topic down below. Um, are you struggling with time management or money management? Do you find uh, it difficult to find time for your mental health? Let's have a conversation down below because I wanna do a lot of mental health videos um, this month for Mental Health Awareness Month. I'll probably be sharing some of my stories. I'm gonna be working on my book, Rewire Your Anxiety, just from my personal experience, things that have helped me, and all that stuff, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing here on this channel and get involved in our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there. All right. Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.